The Seven Samurai Legend. It is said that seven brave samurai were turned into statues by an evil entity. The Tale of the Samurai. <laughs> Off to a great start, kid. The Tale of the Seven Samurai. Well, there's one right there. You zoom in on their little statues, and you click them. And amazing things happen. They appear all in the same place. Mm, that's an interesting statue. It seems a bit, well, lonely. It does seem a bit lonely. We should get it a girlfriend. Okay, uh, no. Let's not. The other locations are out here on this rinky-dink island. Click. Red's my favorite color. I, I never would have guessed. Wow, I was gonna say, I never would have guessed. I guess that was kind of an obvious line. Pretty. I wonder if he does that every day. He likes purple. There's one over here. There she is. Ah, you found another statue. And then you see the green one. You can spot these from pretty far away. As you can see, the green one is glowing like a mofo. Well done, Lee. Of course, it's against a dark background. There are ones. There are other ones that are a little harder to spot. And then there's another one. Is that all seven? No, there's one more. And this one, it's in the middle of the screen right here, but you can't see it. Still don't see it? Yeah, there it is. Sometimes they just don't pop up. Excellent! You've collected all the statues. Have now, we? How do we get them to light up? Patience. Good things come to those who wait. Huh. How about a little Roy G. Biv action? R, yellow, or purple, green, yeah. Just a little bit of, with a little click is clicky, a little, little ha uh ha, -huh, just stick this in the eye, and a little ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> what? Dude, use your words. I think this one's supposed to go. Dude, if I could click. I keep trying to click and drag instead of click and click. Very nice that they're all lit, but something don't look right. Yes, these colors seem familiar. Having flashbacks to your hippie days? Heh, <laughs> nice hint. I would have said kindergarten, but okay. Alright, so I guess you know that they're in the right place when you put them in the right pedestal. <laughs> Well, of course, of course, I would put the middle one in last, only to find out that the ones I have get out of here. <laughs> only to find out that the ones I have placed are all in a mirror of where they should be. I guess they're doing v vib g r your vib g your instead of g biv. Whatever. Hey, no, no, on the pedestal. Thank you. Now glow, my little crystal. Wait, do I get military units for this? Because that make me feel really dumb for not doing it sooner. <laughs> oh wow, the statues were actually dudes. They're moving in slow motion. It's like the Inception theme to be playing. Look at this band of motherfuck. They are crazy. Can't stop him. Of course, there's no one to. Seriously, I didn't realize this was a military group. Well, that... statues came to life, and now we can use them as a unit. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, these guys are tough. Just treat them like a regular platoon from now on. They're only on script. Huh? That surprises me. Don't care. All right, let's move them over here. So, where are, where do we stand in terms of money, 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 money? Let's look and see if there are any ways for us to make more money. Change of heart. For only 5,000 tribute, it's not worth it. Uh, right now, we're at a pretty good, good, pretty good, good percentage. 57% good. In order to align myself with evil, I'd have to basically kill everything on the land. Which I believe is another... Wait, isn't kill everything a requirement? Where are those? Shield miracle, segregate. There's definitely a kill everything requirement. I remember this. Why isn't it here? Do you guys remember it being there in the last video? I feel like it was. It's very strange. Yeah, I have it showing all of them. It's just not here. I could have sworn that this was the land where you had to kill every living thing. Maybe it was the previous land. 
Yeah, that was that was the previous land. Dude, what are you doing? Okay, I'm not going to get the Shield Miracle. It costs more than 3000 to buy. Uh, someone in the comments actually told me that you can use a Shield Miracle to protect your town from enemy... Uh, what you call it? Epics. Enemy Epic Miracles. Like the uh, debris falling from the hurricane. But I don't think that it would protect from any of the other three. Because it's not going to be able to stop the earthquake. It's not going to be able to stop the siren. It won't be able to stop the volcano. Sure as hell can't stop the volcano. Which, I mean, I think it's the first one I've actually mentioned. But yeah, the volcano is what we're going to be purchasing very soon. Send one platoon to battle until they achieve the required experience. Nah. Change of heart. No, we're not going to be able to do that. I'll have to basically kill everyone. And that would make me lose all the good bonuses I'm getting from being a good god. It makes my city more impressive. Separate the people into two different towns. For only 10,000 tribute, that just sounds like a pain in the ass. Especially since we probably have over 600 people now living in the town. Yeah, 627 or something like that. It's a lot of people. And look at how happy they are. Everyone is, everyone is rather pleased. People who live right next to industrial buildings aren't as happy, but most of them are quite pleased. Our happiness is really good. We have a, a low birth rate, high productivity. That's what you want. We're doing alright. Now, I guess this other town that he had just sort of stopped being his when we took his main town. I don't know. Things are going pretty well. We we won the land with some war. Haven't seen that one before, even though it really was more of an impressiveness victory. It was impressiveness that won the day, even if it was victory through conquest that inevitably found its end. Uh, I believe that's all we're going to do on this land, so let's quit lollygagging and tallywhacking and faller walking and click on the gold scroll. Are you scroll. sure you wish to leave the land? Click again to confirm. You know, they make a point of putting these way out of the way. There's no way I could accidentally click on this. Of course, previous ones have been right in the middle of the freaking town, so... Who knows? We got these guys on the run! Come on, boys. Let's get to the next land and finish them off! Yeah, kick some ass! Kick his ass, sea bass! And some good statistics at the end. Normally I would mull over these, but honestly, I just, I don't care. I'm gonna scroll through. I'm gonna let you guys look at them if you want. Just sort of, if you're into that kind of thing, I guess. Not completed, not completed, etc. 25% uh, evil. I didn't know that. It's fine with me. It's fine because somebody told me he was eating people. So, we'll have to give her a good talking to when we get to the next land. Make sure she knows not to be eating our villagers. That's not acceptable. Alright, the final Japanese land. Let's see what they got in store for us this time. As we ready ourselves, we will let the Greeks prepare for our storm to come. Uh, you are right. They have divine help. But the prophecy says they will rise against those who nearly destroyed them. The Aztecs. If they can triumph over us, we will have no option but to offer ourselves to their side. You speak sense, brother. We have both seen what these Greeks can do, but we must make a stand here first. Finally, this is where we finish off the Japanese for good. I'm sick to death of these two brothers. But the second brother isn't a city builder. He prefers destruction. You should beware him. Beware him? He can kiss my shiny red behind! We're gonna stick them both in the ground! Let's build us some armies and get cracking on those nasty miracles. This is gonna be great! It is imperative we protect ourselves with walls. The Japanese won't wait for you to make your move. They will be desperate to drive us out. It's true, actually. You need to get a wall up as soon as possible when you get to this land. And it's another land where trees are a scarcity. So the first thing that... You see, they have them right there waiting on you. Uh, the first thing you might want to do is finish that wall. <laughs> Their walls will not stop us! And we're going to build a wall here, even though I'm going to eventually erase that wall and expand our zone. Because right now, this is a drop-off that we cannot cross, and it's going to become a very, very weak zone later on. We'll eventually expand our town so, until our walls are all the way out here. But right now, we're going to take a much smaller approach. We need to... Move some trees around. Get a little bit of get a little bit of action happening here. Spread these jokers out. Alright, breeder in time. Time to make lots of babies for Big Daddy God up ya. 
You can call me Pancho. Hey, what the Disciple fuck was breezes. that, Shirley? What are you doing? <laughs> You're playing with trees. Sure you were. It's not what it looked like to me. Why can't I move? No, I don't want to talk to the creature. Stop looking at the creature. Thank you. I'm gonna smash that rock. You don't seem very happy about when I smash that rock. Alright, same plan as usual. Let's build a little, a little road. A little road going on there. A little slow road. Uh -huh. We'll put it right there. Get over here. Storehouses. They know what they are doing. Ah, as you can see, there are, our people are asking for nurseries. They are indicating a concern with our low birth rate. And we have a number of breeders and no nurseries. It's kind of an issue. Right now, there's still f uh, food on the table because we arrive with a small stockpile. But it's not enough to last you very long, so... One of the first things you need to do in any new land, and as you can see, they're already asking for it, is... Put down some farms. We will take these fields as our own. I suppose housing can go back here. At least these superstitious Greeks respect their children. There's a... Of course, respecting your children is kind of a strange concept. Normally it's elders who would command the respect of the children, not vice versa. But I guess Japanese can do things however they like. I'm not going to impose Western values upon them. I've learned all about multiculturalism in my multicultural classes as required by my university. I feel more worldly because of it. <coughs> Anyway, I don't actually want to build too many houses just yet. Uh, I'd rather get some fields going, put some farmers down. It's a good idea to build a few builders. To build a few builders? Uh, if only we could build disciples. Where's an unfinished building? I don't have any unfinished buildings right now. You are now builders! Disciple builders. Yes, up by the walls. They, wow, they were carrying all kinds of shit. What are y'all doing all that? <laughs> God build the walls. That's one way to get them up quickly. I'm not going to bother putting a gatehouse in. I don't tend to let anybody in or out for a little while. Oh, they want a, a mana... A mana thing. I almost, I was just like, oh, they want a mana thing. Okay, Trev. You do that. Go on. Use your words as you please, I suppose. At your own discretion. I'm going to sort of do things in a... Sort of a... Almost a random way. I'm not... An altar. Why would they build this? Because my people want to worship me, and for some reason they're really happy when they worship me. I don't know. I don't write the rules, I just make them. That made sense if you think about it. Not really. The Greek villas will be kept intact. We will house our men there. Oh, that's... Wait. We have more homes. This is a good move. How are you going to house your men in my houses? A vital nursery has been built for our future samurai. We don't have any, uh, any bunk beds or anything. I don't really see how he expects to house his men inside my houses. I mean, we're not going to sleep in the same bed as my guys. I mean, no, I'm just no homo, but I'm not sharing a bed with you, bro. I'll sleep on the couch. Tell me this thing fits, please. Ugh. Oh, 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 oh. A place for the creature <laughs> to crawl and die. I watched part five of Nintendo Capri Sun's uh, three heart run uh, of Zelda 1. And he had like three different orgasms in that video. <laughs> Hilarious. I continue to cite him as my primary source for LPing just because if I didn't, I would be there. A number of my best ideas have come from watching his videos. Even if he didn't actually come up with the idea, my watching his videos would be they what triggered me to, to have mine. Religion, like drowning men cling to driftwood. Ooh, that's kind of a... that's an angry metaphor. Jeez. They claim to have religion. <laughs> uh, jeez. I mean, the, you guys have Shinto, don't you? The Japanese were pretty religious, I thought. I guess not. Let me do word the market is complete, brother. The market. That must have been the peaceful brother talking. That other one wouldn't give a crap about markets. Look at how big that ore rock is. Get over here. Well, God, gather that one. That's, that's worth it. All right, now uh, some weird things are going to happen with this mine before uh, too much goes down. But you see, I got a basic town structure going down. I don't know if I've really been talking about this much recently, but. The amount of video that you guys have been seeing in the LP is about two-thirds of what's actually happening in the world. And as the lands become more difficult, things will be shown at a, more, at a little bit of a higher rate, I think, so... 
For the sake of video, I'm going to skip ahead to when something happens here. You've seen me build my basic start city before, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. If I make any purchase, Oh! Purchases! Speaking of... Let's go ahead and just buy this and put down a friggin' thing for it. The sooner we get it going, the better we'll, the sooner we'll win. Volcano Miracle costs a million tribute to buy, the most expensive item in the game. 10,000 wood, 4,000 ore, 3,000 impressiveness. A thundering mountain rises and molten rock spews from a fissure opened in the earth. Little is as visceral or dangerous as a volcano. And of course they don't want us to build one yet, since we don't have enough houses for our people, but screw them. I'm going to get up to this area as fast as I can, because I really want to put the volcano there. Let's not. Stop. Stop that. Get off my mouse. Thank you. I'll meet ya. Alright, let's put that friggin' volcano down. Yeah! Feels good! I'm gonna god build the crap out of it, too. I'm gonna waste my resources on it. I don't give up. And I would like to get people worshipping it as soon as possible. So dumping our resources into it early game is not too bad of a decision. Honestly, I can farm a lot of wood really quickly. You'd be surprised. If you plant if you replant your saplings, you can propagate forests at a rate higher than your consumption. So you actually can you know make money, essentially. You can I did I put essentially at both ends of that sentence? I think I did. That's very poor. That's a very poor way to speak. That's not how you use words. Come on now, you're a native speaker. You're better than that. Actually, it's, I think it's pretty common for non-native speakers to put more emphasis on speaking properly than the native speakers, because native speakers, they grow up with it. It's the only language they know, and so if they uh, aren't taught to take care of it properly... We've taken over the town! I'm not sure how. Didn't do anything. Maybe they finished finish building a house or something without telling me. Yes, I required them to inform me with each house they finish. Uh, if you're going to god build, stick it to the trees in the storehouse and then grab the wood from the storehouse. But don't uh, god build with trees directly because you're going to go a lot slower. With each tree, it's going to restart the, the speed of the god building. Whereas if you drag it with a whole stack at once, it just speeds up until you're done. Look at that. Look at the huge influence range it gives us, too. Protects this whole back area of the town. Pretty darn good. If I could afford to build a siren as well, I would. I don't know if we're going to have enough stuff for that, but I'm going to put it right here. The focus will be on worshipping the volcano, I believe, uh, in later game. In an early game, it may be on the siren. I haven't decided yet. We don't have enough people to actually worship either one at this point, so we need to focus on getting our population up. And getting the road to go all the way up to the volcano? Because that 45 impressiveness is important to me. We'll continue building more houses around our nurseries and temples, and we'll improve our population.